Welcome into the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I'm Tony Luffman. This show is all about you, the fans. You get to ask the questions to today's guest, Miami Marlins left fielder Derek Dietrich. There are two ways to ask a question. Click the green button below and sign up or sign in for your chance to ask that question live. Or tweet us using the hashtag Chatting Cage to get your questions in. Without further ado, let's bring Derek into the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. Hey, Derek, thanks for joining us during what is an unbelievable month for you. <laughs> Leading the bigs and batting average in June. What's been the key to that? <laughs> I think uh, it's really been my, my work and my preparation. The routine um, has been very important for me um, over the last two months, really. But just, uh, just getting in the cage, getting my work in, and, and just the confidence of knowing that I'm prepared every day. Let's go to a question from Twitter for Derek. Sean Clark Jr. asks, what do you remember about getting called up and starting in your first Major League game? That's a good question. Um, I remember getting the call. Um, I was in Jacksonville in our double-A club and uh, traveled cross-country to San Diego to play a day game and uh, got to Petco Park with probably an hour to spare. My parents made it. Uh, my agent was there. It was an awesome, awesome day. Um, once I got in the uniform, it was like playing any other game, really. It was like it, I, I knew and felt like I was meant to be there. And uh, after getting a knock in my first at-bat, um, couldn't it couldn't have got off to a better start than that. So, uh, yeah, that was a sweet sweet day that I'll always remember. From the beginning of your career to a precious present where you're on a six-game hitting streak, 13 for 24, three doubles, three homers, six runs scored. Remarkable during this recent stretch. Next question, Adam K. Collins. You're known for your juggling skills, he asks on Twitter. What's the most you've done at one time? Uh, I can juggle five balls. Um, I, I, I pretty much can do three and four juggling clubs. They're like the bowling pins. I've done the machetes, the flaming torches. Wow. I don't do any of that anymore. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I don't think the Marlins would, would let me. Although I did do it once in the minor leagues for a little little show. You can find it on YouTube. Guys give me grief about it all the time. But, um, yeah, it's something I picked up as a kid that I, I use to build my hand-eye coordination, also to have fun and to reach fans, reach out to kids, schools, events, um, all over. So uh, just something, a uh, cool skill that uh, I've had some fun with throughout the years. That's a very cool skill. Let's welcome in a fan for a live question here on the Edward Jones right. Chatting Cage with Derek Dietrich. What's your name and what's your question? Hey, Derek, my name is Ryan, and I was just wondering, if you weren't playing uh, baseball professionally, what would you be doing? Hey, Ryan, what's going on? Um, you know, we get that question a lot. Um, I do, at least. And I, I really like, um, I like to work out. I like health and nutrition. Um, so I know how important it is to keep your body in shape, especially as a professional athlete. So I would probably be interested in being some kind of a strength coach, um, some, a personal trainer, a performance coach, something along those lines to help athletes perform better. Because um, at the end of the day, that's what I want to do. And uh, we have great guys around uh, with the Marlins organization that help us do that. So just to help another player or an athlete, I think that's what I would uh, like to do. But I'm going to stick with baseball as long as I can. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. It's going very well. And your sister, we go back to Twitter for this one. Paula, 301 on Twitter, says your sister is a professional figure skater. How are you on the ice? Uh, yeah, well, I haven't skated for a long time. I, I, I don't know. I haven't read the the fine print of my, my contract, but I'm going to say that I probably shouldn't be out on an ice rink anytime soon. So I haven't skated for years, but I, I grew up as a rink rat. Um, my sister Dawn was a professional ice skater. She competed as an amateur. And uh, if I wasn't at the baseball field, I was at the ice rink, actually. So I, I spent a good amount of time on the ice, and, uh, you know, I, I could handle myself a little bit. But um, it's been years since I, <laughs> I put the skates on. Understood. Time to welcome in another live question on the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. What's your name and what's your question for Derek Dietrich? Hi, Derek. My name is Nick from New York. And my question for you is how have you prepared yourself for the season since you've been really high lately? Hey, what's going on, Nick? from New York. Uh, really, you know what I've been doing? Um, I've, I, like I, I mentioned earlier, I've kind of found a routine as far as, you know, in the cage when taking my batting practice, using the machine, um, breaking ball machine, curveball machine, um, and just kind of honed in on, on, a, on, a, on a routine that I can go to every day or I can keep my swing in check and know that I'm ready to go each day. Um, but really it's about um, having the confidence when you walk up to the plate. 
um, that you're, you're prepared, you've done the work, and you know what you want to do up there. So, you know, for a young guy like yourself, um, the quicker that you can learn your strengths and, and also, you know, work on your weaknesses, um, the better well-rounded player you're going to be. But uh, know yourself. Um, I think that's the key. I, I know what kind of hitter I am. I know what kind of hitter I, you know, I want to be and how I can help the team, and that's kind of what I've been doing. That's great advice. Let's hit our EDJ question of the day. Your hitting has been so good that it prompts this question from Twitter from Eric Hausen. What would it mean for you to earn an all-star nod? Uh, you know, it's funny. I kind of just got uh, goosebumps. You know, something you, 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 you dream about as a baseball player, um, to, to be in a game like that and to be around, you know, the best players in the game. And, you know, after playing my, you know, my fifth year in the major leagues and being around some of the talents, the MVPs, like the Trouts, the Stantons, the Arenados, guys like that in that category. Um, I'm a confident guy. I play with confidence, swagger, and I feel like that I can play on that stage at that level with those groups of guys. And um, so to be in that game or to be involved in that game would be uh, an honor and a, and a special treat and something that I've worked very hard for. So we'll see what happens. Your humility is impressive. The month that you're enjoying right now, according to the information we have, it's the third best June average in club history. You mentioned Stanton. He's on that list, too. Special company. You're a Cleveland Cavaliers fan. Cody Price on Twitter asks, how hard was it to watch your team lose in the NBA Finals to the Golden State Warriors? Yeah, that, that was a tough one. Um, you know, we, the guys made a joke with me today. Uh, I, I've, the World Cup's going on. I have, I'm, I'm German, so I have the Germany jersey. had to customize everything. Germany's out. I got the Cavaliers, the LeBron jerseys, wearing them every day, four games, and they're out. And oh. I'm just like, uh, the guy's like, don't put the jersey on. I'm like thinking, well, i got to wait four years to wear the jersey now for Germany again. Uh, you know, the Cavs, we'll see what happens with, with them and LeBron um, to get back to the finals next year. But uh, it was tough, especially we were playing out on the West Coast. So, uh, yeah, I heard it from a lot of people. Uh, it's a tough one. At least it's a fun clubhouse. That's the silver lining in yeah. this. It's time yeah. to welcome in a live fan. For a question on the Edward Jones chatting cage, what is your name and what is your question for Derek Dietrich? Hi, Derek. I'm Ryan. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Ryan. My question is, you had the opportunity for a few seasons to be teammates with Ichiro. So yeah. what is it like to be a teammates with a great player like Ichiro and be on his team when he got his iconic 3,000th hit? That's a great question. Uh, Ichiro is uh, one of a kind, a, a true professional, uh, a man of routine, like I talked about with the hitting, um, how the, the routine has got me going and kept me in check. He is a man of routine. He knows what he needs to do, how he needs to do it. He's someone that um, everyone can learn, learn from, whether you're an infielder, outfielder, hitter, pitcher. He knows exactly what he wants to do and how to do it. And um, to be there for his 3,000th hit back in Colorado, uh, that was awesome. <laughs> I kicked myself because I was actually on base like two or three times before that. And the one time I got out, he came up behind me and got the hit. So yeah, it's bittersweet sometimes. But just to be there and to be um, you know, involved in that moment was uh, something I'll never forget. And just to share a clubhouse with him and a dugout with him and, and be on the field with him, um, was uh, something that uh, I'll cherish and I'll be able to talk about for many years to come. That was definitely a goosebumps moment. It's time to welcome in another fan for a question on the Edward Jones chatting cage with Derek Dietrich. What's your name and what's your question? Good afternoon to both of you gentlemen. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Lou Flores and Mr. Derek Dietrich, this humble gentleman right here who leads by example. Um, man, I am blown away, no doubt about that. You are definitely one of the hardest workers in the room. And uh, in addition to that, sir, um, what I admire from you is your great relationship with your grandfather who paved the way for you. He's a great role model in yes. your life. He also taught you this great game about baseball. Now, what my question is, humbly asking, is that what was the advice that your great, you know, role model, your grandfather, your hero gave you to help you succeed at the major league level? Well, I, that's a great question. Thank you so much for that. You know, every time that I can bring up my grandfather, Steve Demeter, and honor him, it's, it's a blessing. So to answer your question, uh, my grandfather was a career minor leaguer, 
played a long, t a long time in the minors, had a, parts of a few seasons in the big leagues. And what he instilled in me was the work ethic that I have. Um, I had a great relationship with him, and I, I honor him every time I go out. And uh, sorry, it's been, you know, he passed a bunch of years ago, but every time I have a chance to talk about him and, uh, you know, the legacy that he left and what he gave to me and the love that I have for this game. Sorry, man, uh, I'm a tough guy, but, you know, at heart, you know, Grandpa, love him. So I appreciate that question, the work ethic, man. Thank you. No apology necessary. That's an awesome tribute you just paid to your grandpa. And obviously the way you play is a lasting tribute. Let's get to another question from a fan. Edward Jones chatting cage with Derek Dietrich. What's your name and what's your question? That's a great story about your grandfather, Mr. Dietrich. I am Daniel from Southern New Jersey. Um, I actually caught one of your batting practice home run balls on the Phillies home opener. Um, but anyways, my question for you is, what is your favorite road stadium besides Marlins Park, of course? But what's your favorite visiting stadium? Good question. I think you hit me up on Instagram, right? I think you, you posted something about yeah, catching that ball. Yeah, yeah. see, I, I connect with – I saw I saw I connect with the fans. I saw that. That's cool. Um, well, I, uh, I think – you know, I really like Colorado. We just came from, from Denver and, and had a nice series out there. Um, I think as being an uh, opposing player, playing in St. Louis, uh, the fans there are very supportive. They appreciate great baseball. Um, so it's always nice to go and, and play in St. Louis. Um, can't go wrong playing in, in, in New York, whether it's the Mets or the Yankees. So, uh, I mean, it's a blessing and an honor to be playing at this level in the major leagues, and I don't think there's one bad stadium or uh, one that I don't like. I think they're all special in their own way. Um, you know, I, I like playing here in Marlins Park, uh, being at home. It's a beautiful park, uh, and, uh, you know, we're trying to bring something special back to Miami with our baseball club here. So, Well, we appreciate you. A great guest here on the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. Thank Thanks you. so much for taking the time, and good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, guys. It was fun. That's Derek Dietrich. It was fun for us. Thank you, fans, for joining us and making this show special. Great questions from you on this edition. Check back for the next edition of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I'm Tony Luffman. We'll see you next time.